Good? All right. As we're getting on stage, I just want to take this opportunity to thank Don Nelson for allowing me to have this opportunity to come and be part of this great festival, and to also take the opportunity to introduce you to Thomas Reingans, who has been our accompanist. This next piece is impossible to play on the piano, but Thomas makes the impossible possible. It's because it's an orchestral reduction, and for those that are keyboard players in the audience know that this is just a nightmare. They take all the, all the notes of the orchestra and somehow cram it into the piano. And Thomas does an amazing job. So we're going to uh, share this work, uh, Beethoven, uh, with uh, Thomas Reingans playing the full orchestra part. Thomas, thank you. <laughs>
just uh, say a word of thanks. First of all, I'd like to start with thanking all the moms and dads and uncle, uncles and aunts and grandpas and grandmas and extended family that are here tonight, but more important than that, that support these young people throughout their school days and these passionate times of loving music and letting it be part, an integral part of their life in high school. It's something they won't ever forget. The gift that you're giving them is just crucial at this time in their lives. I want to say a special thank you to uh, my friends. I think I've known all of these folks for so long, but just their names one more time. Joel Carn from Heritage, uh, Mike Day from Evergreen, Ginny Bell from Mountain View, uh, Mika Iverson from Union High School, uh, from Hilo Academy, Sherry Bozart. Thank you to all my director colleagues for preparing these folks. I really appreciate it. I have, uh, I have the opportunity to do uh, several of these things in different parts of the Northwest, in different parts of the country. And I told the students on the first day, I have a love-hate relationship with these things. M mostly, I think maybe I hate them. But because <laughs> uh, here's what happens. Usually you get here and the students are not prepared. And so there's, not, there's no chance to make music like that. That last piece, do you understand how beautiful that was? How hard that was to make that, to not just follow the beats and do stuff for them? Um, so, most of the, so many of the experiences, even all states I direct sometimes, it's just like you just hang on and hope to survive. And it's just not much fun. You beat yourself to death as a conductor, go home back to your school uh, the, on Monday and just go, oh, I'm just exhausted. I'm going to go home uh, on Monday and, and I'm going to be excited. I'm going to be elated from the experiences that I've had here. And I'm just, just thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you don't understand because you don't get to adjudicate and go around like I do. This is an amazing, amazing school district. Yes. And it's not, you know, it's... Thank you, thank you. you know, it's, it's done, certainly it's done. Uh, it's beautiful school buildings. It's uh, having some budget, at least some, you know, it would be nice to have more. But, you know, that's not it. It is not it at all. It takes a teacher. It takes a teacher. I've adjudicated, I've been in schools where the whole population of the school is 600 total, with 300 kids in the choral program. It takes a teacher. I've been in Idaho, I was judging a festival a couple years ago, uh, and, and Boise, they're doing a lot of these um, uh, little charter schools now. And so there's, uh, there are big schools, charter schools, all competing on the same stage. And here comes this, this uh, choir from a school that had 75 kids in it. And it's a choir of nine women and one man. And you, know, you can see the kids, because all the choirs that are watching, they're kind of going, <laughs> Just making fun, you know, even before they even started. I guarantee you those nine women and that one man, it was just glorious. Because you see, it takes a teacher. Doesn't make any difference how many kids are in the choir. Doesn't make any difference what kind of music you have and what facility you have. It takes a teacher. I was listening to Don talk at dinner last night about how passionate he is about getting the right people in the right place. And it is so hard. I, I work at Willamette University and I help turn out music educators all the time. And I have some that I'd love to send to you, Don. Others, you know, they're gonna be okay, but they're not gonna be first string, you know? And I got some first stringers to, to send you because Don is passionate about having only the best. And that's what he has in these ladies and gentlemen, the passion, the background, the quality, the commitment to these students. So I just, just want to say thank you guys because obviously you're the product, product of people that care in terms of parents and amazingly talented folks in front of you. I hope you just respect them and love them and give them all sorts of kindness and candy and cookies on Friday. <laughs> you know, Slipping my 20 now and then. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, these guys are the best. Thank you all for a great experience.
So we're going to we're gonna end with a spiritual call it Daniel, servant of the Lord. This is just hard. And uh, they've just done a great job with it. I'm just so excited. This is college level music here. And these, these students can do it. So let's, let's show them we can do it. Okay, here we go. Thank you. 